As some of you requested, here's my video on a set of sliders to bridge the gap between legendary being too easy and ultimate difficulty being too hard slash unrealistic. Stay tuned. How's it going everybody? It's your host Matt Ten. So I've received a couple of requests, I'll say a couple, it's been a lot actually, about how to make legendary difficult. Now I know we released the ultimate sliders, uh, ultimate difficulty sliders uh, in response to when EA made it more difficult essentially, but upon um, further confirmation it seems that it's actually set up for the computer to use 99 overall players. So regardless of who you're facing, every player is 99 overall. And in my experience, they completely ignore the team tactics and they really don't adhere to most, if not all the slider changes. The best you can do is lower their acceleration to really low levels um, but even then at the end of the day you're still playing ultimate difficulty against 99 overall players like to me that is illogical because it just removes the realism completely no player has any kind of identity everybody's the same everybody attacks the same why would you want that uh, other than pride which is stupid and i would refrain from that so instead what we're going to do is going to make legendary more difficult so how are we going to do that obviously with sliders these are my personal suggestions that's why you don't see the operation sports um, logo in the in the thumbnail or anywhere else sprint speed at 48 for the user and 52 for the computer now this is simply how it sounds i don't want the computer to have any form at any point in time to do any kind of jogging animation i want them to be kind of full tilt want them to be engaged the whole time, have them have the advantage on the sprint side. The user definitely still has sprint um, advantage in it regardless, because we can do our manual controls, etc. And the computer as it is has issues with when you're sprinting down, they will, you know, on 50-50, they'll pretty much stay with you and then you'll most of the time get through unless you, you know, screw up your dribble. So this allows them to be, be pretty much right in line with you and then recover as your player may start to tire. Acceleration at 50 for the user and 52 for the computer. Now, anytime anybody asks me how to make difficulty harder, I always say a discrepancy of acceleration. Because simply put, acceleration is just one of those values that controls the first couple steps. Um, and so being first to the ball um, versus last to the ball, it makes, you know, obviously it makes the difference. And so that's the whole point of that. That's why we have acceleration of 50 for the user and 52 for the computer, because I want to make sure that the user is not in the advantage here and the computer will be the one to step up sooner and, and thus they'll, you know, it'll just make it more difficult. So you definitely have to use more of your stick skills and anticipation skills. Even some of the things the computer doesn't have access to. Next value shot error for the user is at 60. Shot error for the computer is at 55. Now, this is a big uh, step away from what the current OS sliders use, which are at 70 a piece. And I personally love the 70 shot error, but I can understand for one, if you're going to play a little lower minutes, um, and then if you want a little bit more challenge and, and just a mix of challenges, I still see some pretty bad misses um, I still see some pretty fantastic goals and it's, there's a value that I'll address that definitely helps with some of those goals. And so the main thing is we want to see a payoff essentially, but we want it to be realistic in that sense. And of course the balance between realism and difficulty is, is kind of the hardest part about all this. But shot error at 60 for the user and then shot error for the computer at 55. Pass error is at 55 for the user and then it's just simply at 50 for the computer. Now you'd be surprised sometimes lowering pass error and for those who love to adjust this thinking it's going to make things more difficult, it doesn't always make it more difficult because what it does, it makes the computer want to possess the ball longer, want to increase their pass accuracy. And you can, and if you, you know, place the game of the sport of, of soccer or football, however, which way you call it, you can complete 99% of your passes by just passing back and forth between your center backs. 
for those of you who may not know, I'm a Fulham fan, and Scott Parker's tactics early on in the season were very much passing it back between our center backs, and we'd have very high passing percentage as a result. So it the lowering of the value here isn't to just make the pass accuracy percentage higher. It's mainly to ensure that the pass quality they make are intended to be, you know, completed uh, and not to the point where some animations come up where they mishit the pass um, really badly where you know, the ball just bobbles up in front of their feet that you've probably seen on some pass air values above 50. And for the user, you have full control still. You can, you know, you can do a driven pass whenever you'd like. You can you can choose the type of controls you want to use if you don't want to use assisted or semi, manual, etc. So the user again has more free reign. That's the whole point of this and this is kind of what's tricky because you always have to think about the user. The user is not a robot. You have basically anything you can do with the controls and, and everything else. And the computer, once they're set on something, they'll most likely do it. From there, the shot speed is at 50 apiece. This has been modified and will most likely be modified to the um, upcoming slider additions for the official uh, operation sports sliders because I saw started to see a lot of issues with how the keeper would react to 49 shot speed um, and just how the, the ball would just be really weak in general. Side footed shots would look really weak and be caught really easily. It just didn't look right. And so shot speed at 50 a piece definitely gets that oomph kind of, you know, back in into gear. From there, pass speed is at 50 for the user and it is at 50 for the computer. There's really no need to increase pass speed um, because when you reduce shot or sorry when you reduce pass error the pass speed is naturally going to increase and when you increase pass error the pass speed is naturally going to slow down uh, just because the quality of you know strike on the pass is, is not as good. From there frequency 90 40 uh, for frequency and severity that hasn't changed still see a good variety of injuries not all bruised shoulders etc so definitely keeping that that's the same for the computer as well. Goalkeeper ability is the big one here in terms of the shot error and shot speed, which is now at 40. And this is something I'm going to recommend as well with the Operation Sports guys. Um, the reason for this is because now the, the goalkeeper really isn't making fantastic, amazing saves. They're not reaching, you know, every which way to get to the ball. And they will still be, depending on the rating, right? They will still make some slight deflections. They'll make some pretty amazing saves. It really just depends. Now I'm using, if you guys have been watching my channel, I'm using Lowly Crawley Town. My goalkeeper makes some absolutely amazing saves on 49. So I started lowering that value and found that 40 and from a vicious strike, he really shouldn't be saving some of those. So there will be that odd occasion in which he does, but it just didn't seem realistic for a while. And so goalkeeper ability, ability at 40 for the user, and then goalkeeper ability at 40 for the computer. Just puts in that nice balance because you're gonna have a difficult time against the computer. You get in positions, you deserve to score. I'm not gonna say you deserve, like you're, just cause you deserve to score doesn't mean you get to score. That's not how life works. Um, you know, we don't always get what we deserve. Um, tell the ultimate team guys that too, when they complain about intent versus the reality. <laughs> but this at least allows some of those um, moments and those scenarios to, ha to occur the way um, you know the way you expect it but you never know it's football it's a sport right so it's fun marking at 70 for the user and then marking at 70 for the computer now this is lowered from 72 in the operation sports sliders it's most likely going to be adjusted as well because starting to see some over marking a lot of man-to-man -man, uh, man coverage um, if you will it's a kind of a football term i've been doing a lot of madden so apologies um for the the lingo i mean man marking as it says um is the focus here and it's really just to put pressure throughout the pitch i think fifa does an amazing job at putting pressure um throughout the pitch and you will have to be pretty slick with your passes and movements etc um, and that'll be helped by run frequency, which is the next value at 20. Now, this is a significant update from the value of two, uh, but this is also going to just kind of open things up and put in a little bit more variety in the attacks for not just the user, but mainly for the computer. You'll see more long balls over the top. You'll see a little bit more um, passes into space. Uh, they'll keep you on your toes, essentially. And the main thing with this is you know, we want to keep things away from being stagnant, putting the, co the computer in a position to be 
kind of able to attack based on their custom team tactics, right? We don't want every every team to play the same way like it does in Ultimate Difficulty. Uh, and so for the user side, we also want to increase that run frequency because if you have a little bit extra run frequency, a little bit more spaces given up, then there'll be spaces coming back and it could create that counter attack, etc. It's just kind of just the ebb and flow, if you will, about FIFA. And, and that's something that um, this value increase definitely helps. Next value is going to be 40, uh, sorry, 51 for the user and it's also 51 for the computer. Uh, simply put, it's just a value we've kept. Um, I've kept for a while. Um, I did adjust it to 50 one time and found I didn't like it. The main thing is just want to keep the the center backs engaged with the players. You know, I don't want to put an advantage. I don't want players to play terribly just because we're trying to make it difficult. Uh, so I don't want center backs to go absent-minded. Length at 46 for the user, and then a discrepancy here at 48 for the computer. So this is simply to put the computer in a position, in a more advantage position than the user. Get them up, more up the pitch, let them put pressure. Yes, you will still have a chance to counterattack based on what they bring to the table, but at the same time, with all the other values before this, they'll still be able to recover. So this line length at 46 for the user does put them more compressed, and then 48 for the computer does keep them a little more compressed, but not so much um, that it's basically they're never ever reaching each other. Um, and so this allows just a little bit more emphasis for attack, a little bit more emphasis you know, to, to also have be there exposed on the counter attack. So we want to balance. And again, like I said at the start of the video, finding a balance between difficulty and realism is, is definitely as it sounds, it's it's difficult to do because there's so many different moving parts that can come into play, and then you're also at the dis the discretion of the user and the user style, and if they're playing realistic or not. So um, from here, after length discrepancy of 46, 48, we've got width at 48 apiece. No changes here. Don't want to adjust width too much. Don't want to create that discrepancy because then it'll be just completely imbalanced. And width is a very sensitive value, um, and I don't want to adjust it too much because the marking is going to control a lot of that it's going to control the composition of, of the of the defensive third to defensive third and, and the center of the park so the main thing is just keeping this value the way it is let the value of marking to help with that next value is fullback positioning at five and five and you know you would think i'd be raising this value quite a lot i, I don't and the reason for that is because i don't want them pushed so much forward if you want to push them forward, go into your team tactics, go to individual instructions, go to your fullbacks and make them overlap, and then they'll get pushed forward every which way. And so with this, I, again, I don't want it raised too much, but this does get them involved just a little bit more and respecting that run frequency that's also there. The big thing that a lot of people have access, or sorry, a lot of thing that um, people are able to control are able to take advantage of from the computer is how much they get their fullbacks up and then in transition they just counter and just run from down the sidelines and then cut inside and that's mainly because EA has uh, issues with programming center backs um, to respond to the right analog stick as you push the ball ahead they start to jog and that's been something that's been going on all year I'll do a separate video on that next value 50 for the user for power bar I don't really care about that but First touch control, 60 for the user. Uh, this is something I'm going to recommend as well that I've already recommended to the Operation Sports guys. Just to put a little bit more um, ball in front of them versus under their feet, under their body, which is kind of how it is. It's very soft. Um, and so this value is just going to help that kind of bobble a little bit, just a little bit more control and, and separate those who can control the ball very well um, to stand out. And then for the, the control for the, the CPU, it's going to be the same way. You'll be surprised at how first touch control um, makes a lot of things click for the computer, but it seems like they have more of a disadvantage with this value for some reason. I think it's relative to the pass speed uh, and the pass error. So when adjusting this value, they do really good at respecting it. And so I felt like let's not change anything. Let's, you know, we want to make it difficult for those. Um, we don't want this to feel like ultimate difficulty by any means, but we do want it to be difficult. So that's the values there. So guys, that is the legendary sliders, uh, a little bit more difficult. 
uh, for you guys who have been wondering, um, you know, what they can do and some of the recommendations I've made over time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into a match here in my Manchester United career mode. I'm, I'm not really taking this mode seriously. It's just really a, a test for the Premier League. Ironically, I'm doing this for the Europa. So the main focus here is just to see how, oh, that's a poor pass, and see really hard to get to the second ball or even to the first ball. You have to have your defense in a really good, nice spot. And I, I love that players still play how they should in that sense. You're not, you know, handicapping players or anything like that. You're not, you know, facing up against the same type of team like you would in ultimate difficulty where it's pretty much three forwards at all times and they basically are taking on your entire defense um, and then, you know, making amazing, amazing goals, um, which are just unrealistic. But here you can see the shape is nice. They're still giving in a little bit there. It looks like they're backed a little bit to kind of set up their shape, which is really nice. And you can still move the ball around. You see now here on the counter, they can be patient. They can still move the ball about. They still respect you in that sense, right? But still nice passes, good movement, trying to go over the top. We can leave this be. A big thing that I wanted to accomplish with this set is to make it more difficult. Yes, that's one thing. But then another thing like that is to still humanize the computer. I still want them to have an identity and I still want them to play, you know, with a challenge, but not to the point that I think they're cyborgs and, you know, and you're just getting absolutely dominated playing against the computer. I want mistakes to be made, but I want the user to have a chance to, you know, help with those mistakes. And see right there, like, if that was ultimate difficulty, I may never get there. They probably dominate that position right there. Now here I'm going to try to send it down the side to Juan Bissaka to Daniel James. He's got the pace. Even though there's this advantage in pace level, it's a nice ball in. Now we're in good spot still for recovery. Maguire. Matic recovers nicely. Here's Lindelof. And again, um, like I've said in my other videos, but big, big kudos to Chuni from Graphics Mod. So patreon.com slash GFX mod. I'll put in the description on these amazing, beautiful turfs. If you're on the PC version, take advantage. It doesn't cost much and it's totally worth it. Let's see if I can send this up to Mata. It's a good play there. Oh, and Rashford got there. Daniel's nice challenge on him. Here's the counterattack. Wamba Saka couldn't get there. You'll still feel like you're in the match, which is exactly what you want. You don't want that feeling that you're just completely bombarded and dominated here. This is more of an even match with these two teams as I'd want them to be. But see, good control, good, um, you know, stick skills, if you will. If you understand those, you should be in good shape. But you should have, you know, enough variety. And you can also tell, like, what kind of team you're up against. You know, I can tell they're set up pretty far back um, to kind of absorb the pressure, which is nice. See how they're kind of shaped there to the defensive third. Good track back have to really move the ball around and then they go on the counter I really love the team identity that's still there and FIFA does an amazing job at team identity without making it the way unfortunately PES is with 100% adherence no matter what tactic you're set to here they can go over the side they want to no nope, they make a bad pass which is totally fine I've nobody's dominated this game but it has felt like I've been at the disadvantage at some times in my positioning but then they drop back. And here I get another attack. That's a beautiful ball. Daniel James, what can he do this time? Sends in a low ball. Rashford running in. James again. Can he get a decent cross in? There we go. Oh, it's an own goal. <laughs> I was going to say a header in FIFA 20. I mean, they happen. I've seen them. I don't think they're 100% disappeared. Like, I get in position here, but man. <laughs> that was a great header from the defender. 
Matic, have, I think Matic would have had it, but who knows. So let's see how they can respond. Yaya going over the top. Nice switch over to Max Gradle. And Juan Bissaka doing what he does. You still have that good play. You, you know, you have players, you spend them in career mode. You spend a lot of time on them. They will reward you still. It's not going to be just completely weak, weak. Good play by Matic there. Oh, I'm out of position with Maguire, but that was a heavy touch. Oh, no, Maguire. Oh, and there it is. They punish me there. That was really poor from Maguire. That's totally my bad on the user side. I made a good play for the most part, and then I tried to pass it. It was a terrible idea. And that really wasn't the cleanest strike from the computer. From Yaya. Yeah, and the thing to have it, hey, uh, just barely touched it. But that that's it. 1-1, one, one, just like that. And we're playing 10 minutes as well, so... You know, it's going to give you a little time to, to build attacks. I can't believe... I, you know, I'm just going to say, I'm, I'm not a long... I, I'm not a big, big fan of lower minutes. Just because, like, how do you build any kind of attack that's sustainable? Like, this sequence right here this would probably annoy people who play six minutes and I've got to move the ball around and I feel like I'm against time in that sense you know I don't think that's how you should be playing the game but that's just me I know we're all pressed for time and whatnot but if you ever have the open mind to play higher higher minutes 10 minutes would be my suggestion 15 minutes is, is definitely a little bit longer I can't play that long anymore um, but 10 minutes to me is perfect. That's a 20 minute match. So off the free kick, let's see if we can do something here. And nope, we can't do anything. That was really boring. Lindolf should pick this up. Oh, heavy touch. I tried to super cancel. That's a nice move by Dosevi. Don't know all the Toulouse players' name. Nice through ball. I think we can get there. Lovely cross. McGuire does his job this time. James is so much fun. He's so fast. Oh, Wambasaka just held up enough there. And now we can take him down the side. Good control. Leave it off to James. There we go. A little recycling. Oh, that's poor. I didn't actually didn't see him there. So, poor pass from Shaw. Josevi trying to go down the side to Saeed. Crosses it in. Maguire there again. Well done. Namata here. Let's see if we can get a little sprint going on. Rashford run off the ball. Hold it up here. Fred we should be in here. Now see the recovery from the computer. Fred still got it though. That was great. That was a great recovery from the computer. Yeah, maybe they probably... You know, probably shouldn't have caught up that easily, but we look at the replay just to see this. Like this is an advantage for us. This kind of quick counter, nice touch here from Rashford, and then Daniels pretty much left for dead. But look at the recovery speed here from Shoji. Yeah, Shoji there. Great recovery speed from him, and full sprint. That's that 52 sprint coming into play and the acceleration to get into that first step. And he, so he closes down that angle. And that's just enough that what you need. That puts in a little bit more on your part as the user to do something about it. And I really like that. And that was good to see. Good resistance. Oh, we go back post here. Oh, Andreas Pereira. Good effort. All right, let's see if we can finish this video with a chance. I mean, that was kind of a chance. Oh, Pereira, nice little switch over. McGuire, Juan Mata, oh man, see you'll stu stu you will still see <laughs> some pretty solid saves on 40 goalkeeper ability. I mean that's nice, and the nice thing it's deflected out for a corner, not just you know back into play. 
All right, let's end it right here. Oh, that's the one. Oh, I couldn't get it. All right. Well, anyway, guys, as I play off just a little bit more here, um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this solves a problem for those of you who've been wanting a little bit more challenge from Legendary and, you know, who obviously can respect the fact that Ultimate Difficulty is unrealistic and is filled with 99 overall computer players. It's just unrealistic. Don't do it. Play Legendary. Try this out. Adjust where you see fit. Let me know if you have questions below on what you want to have adjusted or what suggestions you might have. Play it. Give it enough sample size. Sample size is so huge. Give it about, I'd say, 5-10 matches and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, I'm going to push this along to the OS guys. They're going to see this and hopefully they can give it a bash and, and see if we can come up with you know any adjustments if needed. It's very simple to get a video out and I've been wanting to get this one out for you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Um, over the couple months um, since the last version was released um, and thank you again for you know subscribing to this channel got over 4200 subscribers it's never about just that it's about the quality individuals that make comments and you know and show a lot of love about realism and sports gaming that's been what I've always been about I want to thank you guys for watching this video and as always take care and stay tuned